This could certainly, certainly be a card that people could work somehow. Okay, I mean, I guess we're going in here. Dealing big damage. Dealing big damage, buffing big minions, and then we copy them with Faceless Manipulator. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, ugh. Ugh. Uh, draw... I don't even know what we could potentially draw. Oh, look, at that's a big Lyra, though. If I've ever seen one. Well, we got some of the cool cards for us. Uh, Devere, you're thinking aggro decks are going to have the tools to deal damage every turn, and then tech cards to shift their paradigms during late game? Oh, well, that that is one of those very scary situations. If the... No explosives? What's going on here? Oh, I mean, having our opponent play Doomsayer, we kind of expect some inner fire. I mean, inner fire, some big spell mage and control mage and that sort of thing. Uh, this is 612. Do we want this first one to get counterspelled or no? Let's double check for Vaporize first. Okay, so we now know this is Ice Block. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. No! Oh, you dirty rat! What a dirty rat! Um, how do we do this? 12... Hit, hit. And then we eat a polymorph, and then we have no more spells for Lyra. We could also just do a half measure and get two Lyra spells right now. Maybe we just do two Lyra spells right now. Or maybe we need a bigger Lyra, because we actually need to do something reasonable. Oh, let's set up the Faceless for next turn. Let's live a little. There we go. Played around Meteor. Trade. Uh, what are we talking about? We need a little bit of... Aggro? Oh, that's a Polymorph if I've ever seen one. Uh, that being said, we can go Faceless here. Yeah, we're gonna do this. And then uh, Faceless. So we've applied a weird amount of pressure here against our opponent, and I mean, we got to play a Yogg. We've actually, this is a two Yogg game. So we have that going for us. Aggro is important because without it, tempo decks will rule. Federico saying no one like tempo rogue meta. Could be intra, I mean, yeah, you do need to have some sort of checks and balances, and I think there always will be, basically. I mean... Aggro decks will always get found out eventually, in my opinion. I think most people will agree in most metas, we eventually do see aggro decks show up. Uh, we can pop the ice block. We can pop the skulking geist. And what are the heck are we going to do? I think we can kind of go slowly, right? Or should we just faceless and continue to all in on this? We're never going to find a better faceless, right? Look at this. Triple, triple, triple Yogg game. This is, this is the type of thing we can expect here. Uh, life question, are we forgetting? Uh -huh, that's the one thing I didn't want to see. If we see this another Doomsayer, we're in real trouble. Um, Wild Pyro or a Lyra? Maybe we can do a Lyra. Um, just because I want to do a crazy thing right now. And perhaps we can find... Uh, that's pretty good. I'll do it. That's good as well. All right, we'll see what's going to happen now. Actually, going up against Big Spell Mage, I completely regret this. Because there's a chance, I mean, obviously Flame Strike is a loss for our opponent now. But why wouldn't they just have... Flame Strike, Ping, Trade, I mean... All right, maybe that was the... Uh... 
Maybe that was a reasonable way to do it. We kind of got to go fast with this deck. I know, I know. <laughs> Devere, let's all agree. Uh, the day I hit Legend, we'll do a face reveal. I'll probably do one sooner because I'm not expecting to hit Legend next month. Because... Wait, isn't Chamomile just a T, Federico? Um, I wonder if we can get some lethals nice and early here. That could be fun as well. Um, I'm probably not going to have too much time because there will be a thesis defense coming up. So we're not going to have too much time to be ranking, but I'm hoping to at least again push into 5 and maybe, you know, into this rank, but then not be able to do too much more, unfortunately. And I'm assuming around that time when the thesis is getting wrapped up and defended and final edits and stuff like that, then we'll probably think about some sort of face reveal. Um... Hey, Death Reaper, how's it going? Yeah, life questioner. I told you, I think yesterday, how I think your earlier assumption about my graduation date was incorrect. Sorry. Uh, Death Reaper, what do I think about the Witchwood expansion? I'm very excited for the Witchwood expansion. I really like what is going on. I mean, we can go for a 12-12 right now. Or do we go greedy and just uh, get lethal next turn? I think I think greed and lethal is what I want. Yeah, but chamomile is a T though, Federico, isn't it? Our opponent's doing some dragon thing. We don't know if it's spiteful. We don't know if it's combo. We don't even know if it's control. But either way, we could be looking for a turn for, for lethal, right? We get this up to nine, potentially. Uh, we go up to nine. 18. That's okay. Um, that looks like lethal, yeah? You wish to live forever. Easy, easy turn for lethal here. That's, uh, not bad. I've, that's the... I think I've gotten turn 5 lethal before, to be honest, so... I think this might be my new record. I think now we got to kind of aim for that turn three lethal, which is going to need an amazing setup, but it's definitely, definitely needed. At some point, we'll be able to pull it off of this deck, I think. So to be honest, I mean, speaking of those cards, we got a bunch of them here. We might actually be able to use them. And then I think the only thing is, we're going to see if this is control if this is aggro, if this is going to try and rin and blow us up, and if it is, then we can Archbishop and seal our deck back after the fact. I think we'll just heal and say go. Hot chocolate and coffee are greater than tea. I know, I just don't like all, I don't know. Just a coffee thing. It's not. It's not for me. That's fine. Uh, Devere, what do we say when we are nearing the day when we hand over our thesis? Thank goodness. We let out a sigh of relief. I don't know. I don't know what else we would say other than that. Just a complete sigh of relief is what I'm going to be doing. Hey, toy gun. Let's go here, friends. I mean, our friend's really thinking this one through. Oh, sleep is for the weak? Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's fair. But that's why I come for Hearthstone, right? So that we can, we can just focus on that instead. Okay, we got ourselves a little bit of a turn here now, don't we? Uh, we'll do this. Then the hit. And then the question is, do we ever need to Divine Spirit this? And I think we'll just save it. And we'll save everything right now. The animation for Lord Godfrey is, um, is really cool. Yeah, I really like that animation too. It's really cool that they have him, I think. It's a uh, very, very... Oh, that's unfortunate. That could just be extra Rin. This could be Ultra Control. And if that's the case, then we really need to be looking for OTKs. 
because our opponent's gonna have tons of healing and all sorts of all sorts of gross stuff. So maybe Archbishop is gonna come save us after our deck gets hit. I mean, we could be looking to do this. I mean, an 8-8's not the worst thing in the world, right? Our opponent would then have to coin... Oh, wow, our opponent, what did they do? I didn't even realize they milled themselves. That's amazing. That's one Doom Guard we don't have to worry about. So our opponent would have to coin a Siphon Soul if they even run it, and then if they don't, we're going to be able to Faceless. To be honest, that's a very reasonable response. Oh, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think it might be time for the for the old lore walker. Oh, I think uh I think we might have to go with the old lore walker here. Um if we had another one of these, that would be the best. Um, our opponent's pretty close to full, so I think we can do this. Uh, we should have dumped the Wild Pyro, actually. Devere, you had a roommate who was British whenever you get overly stressed. Oh, you, you slip in a ac ac uh, British accent? That's kind of interesting. And then you drink five to seven cups of tea daily? Oh, that'll do it. Ooh! So the thing is, with Lorewalker Cho, we're gonna get our own Rin as well. But then the thing is, we're going to Faceless Manipulator this as well. So we're just going to have a whole mess of a game right now, just in case anyone was curious. Let's do this, though. Let's be the ones who are going to be... Let's be the ones who actually get the Rin going on here. <laughs> Your mom's a lawyer, and there's a law that says no face reveal equals jail for 20 years? Oh, boy. Uh, Trammel, I agree, this deck... I don't, I don't think this deck is a meme. I think this deck is just, uh... I think it's fair to say this deck is a little... off meta, I think it would be fair to say. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Elias. Chamomile... Yeah, Federico just feels like Chamomile is not, uh, tea. I think we freaked our opponent out with this Faceless Manipulator. That's amazing. Oh, you think the play's at the moment? <laughs> hey, I think we're doing all right here. Maybe our opponent is uh, not a fan of Lorewalker Cho. Maybe our opponent's trying to read up. Our opponent's trying to read up on, like, what is Cho? Like, what is a Cho, actually? Oh, thank you. I always wanted a Dark Pact. How did you know? Um, and now the question is, how much do we mill our opponent? And the answer is only one. Oh my goodness, wait, is there a way to destroy... Oh no, they already have one seal though. Never mind. They already have one seal. Okay, hold on. This, is, this could be a fun thinking game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If there was a way to clear them both, I mean, we can start filling our opponent's hand, which we have to do. Five, six, seven, eight, and then that fills our opponent's hand. I think that's the simple play, right? Um, do we want to give them another one of these? Or Dark Pact? I think we can take a Dark Pact. And then we'll make that trade as well. Alright. And now our opponent mills a card. Maybe it'll be Blood Reaver Gul'dan. That would be pretty nice. Oh, that does nothing. <laughs> that does absolutely nothing. And now we're off to the races with the seals. So that's kind of cool. And our opponent's going to give us some seals. We give them some seals. It's just going to be a hilarious game. And I'm not sure how the math works on this. <laughs> Federico, it's turn 8 and there are 4 Rin and a Lore Walker on board. Yup. Yes, there are. Oh, our opponent's giving us coins. Oh, thank you. You can have that right back, actually. I didn't even want it that much. Oh, I, want, I could have one of those, too. Thank you. 
Um, I don't think our opponent knows how Lorewalker Cho works. They really don't. I don't think our opponent is familiar. Like, do they realize that we're way ahead right now? Because if they didn't kill the Lorewalker, I would have literally had to have given these cards back. But instead, our seal is way ahead. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I mean, our opponent can trade easily, but our, our seals are still ahead. And then if our seals were never not ahead, we would just be able to steal our opponent's deck back after they destroy. It's we're in a it's a, this is a very weird game. Oh, they just want to go face. Interesting. I heard our opponent loves seals. Um, this is going to be good, I think. I heard our opponent doesn't like their deck, so we're just going to try and help them out here. I think our opponent realizes they're a little bit behind on the old uh, seal train. Uh, so that's good. Nine and a couple trades. Oh, we don't we don't mind the damage too much, to be honest. Uh, this is now the final seal. Goodbye to your deck, friend. And how do we do this? I think we'll do a five here. And we'll do this trade... This trade seems pretty nice. We want to heal up. I think our opponent completely forgot what was happening with the with some of those trades. And I think we're going to do this in the event that we find our Yogg. Oh, we could have traded. Ah, trade in Yogg does nothing, actually. We could have traded and then inner fire, then didn't heal. Well, I hope our opponent likes the cards that they have in their hand. So I think we're going to destroy their deck now. So that's going to be pretty fun. And our board is bigger than theirs. And they can't make a bigger board than we have. And I kind of agree with Federico. We're kind of in a Cho meta right now. I, our opponent didn't realize what was happening with Cho there. Oh, actually, look at this. You know, the only issue is kind of anti-synergy, right? Destroy your opponent's deck. And then steal the deck. So, you know, kind of anti-synergy. But at the same time, still kind of awesome. Uh, the old, what do we want to draw the most? Because we're going to probably lose our deck next turn. Um, but not that much, because we're going to make only a couple trades, then we're going to go face a whole bunch with a 10-10 on board to scare our opponent. So that if they don't remove the 10-10, we go face again, and then maybe win. Yeah, our opponent loves cards. Nice! They just melt. They literally, our opponent's freaking out. They literally just tapped when they had 10 cards in their hand. They don't know. They are unsure of how... Lure Walker Cho works. And that's amazing. I hope our opponent has a good nine cards. That's all I'm saying. Um, how do we do this? And then we'll just go face. Because our opponent's fatiguing. And if they don't get rid of our big minions, then they will lose. Oh, that's actually really good for them, isn't it? <laughs> no, when the memes don't synergize, yeah. Archbishop and Azari kind of uh, cancel each other out. Yeah, Federico, honestly, but like how many players... How many players see a Lorewalker Cho? Or anything like... Or even like the... Forget the Lorewalker Cho. What about the... Um, wait, are they really leaving? They have to trade into him. You you can't leave him up. We're going to win. Or like even the uh, the faceless manipulators for us to be able to steal all of the rins. You know what I mean? They, nah, there's still a chance we lose here. Oh wow. Well, that's one more. Oh, maybe maybe we don't win after all. And his arrogance will be his undoing. Um, I mean, we can start another seal, so that's pretty good. I don't think we're gonna do that though. I think we're gonna do a little bit of draw action if everyone's okay with that. Light well, not helping as much as we would have hoped. Draw a circle. That's pretty good. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now we can start drawing. Now we can actually start drawing for realsies. As they say. 
Uh, that's going to be a lot of cards. Um, what do we want here, actually? Uh, we want to get rid- we need to make room. Hit- oh, we lose! We lose on board! Oh no, after all of that! Oh, we'll do it ourselves then. Oh. After all of that, we still lose on board. What an amazing game. What an absolutely amazing game. That last taunt absolutely destroyed us. Oh yeah, we could have gone for the Lyra for le for uh, saving us, maybe. Oh my goodness, after all of that. After all of that. Should have taken Hellfire. Tyler, when was that given an option? Oh, disappointing. Disappointing considering how b amazing that game was. Hey, we got to play a demon.